Want to speak real Russian from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at RussianPod101.com. Hello again, everyone. Did you watch my first lesson? It's me again, Katusha. Today I'm gonna teach you how to speak Russian again. That's great. I'm very excited because I don't know the theme again. So we're gonna figure out together. Here we go. Ta-da! Computer words. Our century. Finally, we can learn some computer words. Let's go. Check it out. Mm. This is very important word. Клавиатура. The keyboard. Клавиатура. Я не могу работать без моей клавиатуры. I cannot work without my keyboard. Где моя клавиатура? Where is my keyboard? Кто украл мою клавиатуру? Who took my keyboard? Mm? Mm? Gonna find you. <laughs> but right now, we're gonna look for another word. I'm busy here. Okay. Микрофон. Микрофон. It's microphone. Microphone. Отдай мне мой микрофон. Give me my microphone. Give me my microphone. The next word is funny one, right? I mean, uh, everyone says it's a computer word, but we could also talk about the zoo or animals or something like that. So, мышка, mouse. Мышка is very cute word. Maybe because it looks like a мышка. And maybe it's not funny, but um, in Russian language, uh, the armpit is подмышка. Using your armpits for monitor is not very fun, so be careful. Используйте мышку. Use your mouse. The next word is... Наушники! Headphones! Yeah? Unfortunately, in Russian, it doesn't sound like head. There's no connection with head and phone. Like, it's just really random word and sounds like наушники. If I translate it, like, word to word, it means uh, on your ears. Headphones. Наушники. Наушники. I can't live without my headphones. Не могу жить без наушников. Не могу. Notebook. Oh my god, was it Russian or English? Notebook. I don't have to teach you anything. Look, Russian is so easy. Laptop. And notebook is a Russian version. But of course it sounds very English. My notebook поломался. My notebook is broken. Okay, but I hope you won't use it much. I hope your notebook will live a long life. Let's keep moving. <gasps> oh no, we're done again. See you later at the next lesson. Bye. Hello everyone again, and I'm happy to see you on the other side. We've been to hobbies, we've been to fruits and computer stuff, but it's exciting what's gonna be now. Let's have a look. Oh, being sick. Болезни. You feel sick, makes you feel sick. This is all Болезнь. Ага. Аллергия. Allergy. It's not something you catch when you're walking outside, unless it's in Japan, March. Crazy allergy after tree flowers, you know, like all oh, you sneeze and like your nose running. Miserable. So the doctor may ask you, у вас есть аллергия на какие-нибудь препараты? Do you have allergy to any medicine? So you say no or yes, it's up to you. So, okay. Uh, let's keep going. The next one is asthma. Asthma? So, I guess English is the same. <laughs> Example. <sighs> I wouldn't want to have asthma. Я бы никогда не хотела, чтобы у меня была asthma. What an exciting topic! <laughs> Головная боль. Headache. You're tired, right? You have a headache. Or you want to skip school, right? I mean, oh, mom, I can't move. I have a headache. Oh, я не могу пошевелиться. У меня головная боль. Ache is боль. And head is голова. Okay? Next exciting disease is grip. Grip. Sounds like grip. You grip something, right? But it's a flu. All my family got a flu. Вся моя семья заболела гриппом. So be careful. To the next one. Ta-da! The another word is cold, which is простуда. I got cold. Я простудился. Cold. Простуда. And this is the end to our cold. 
and to flu and to asthma and I have you will never have any of it. Берегите себя. Take care of yourself. I hope see you healthy and well for the next lesson. So I'll see you in some other time. Nice meeting you. Bye. Hello again and welcome to Russian Weekly Words. And my name is Katusha. Let's check out what, what kind of words and what kind of theme we're going to have today because I have no clue. Whoa. Hmm. <laughs> so the theme is bugs and insects. Bugs are in Russian are жучки. To be sure, it is a жуки. And insects in Russian are насекомые. Насекомые. The first one is very cute one. Божья коровка. Ladybug. Oh, it's such a cute one. If you translate it in Russian, it's a really fi funny translation because it goes like the cow from God. No idea. I prefer English version. Божья коровка летает вокруг меня. Ladybug is flying around me. I hope the next one will be butterfly. Ta-da! No. <gasps> it's комар. Mosquito. Комары. Mosquitoes. Комары преследуют меня везде. Mosquitoes are following me everywhere. Especially in summer, if you're next to the river or any water. Oh no. Комары. Oh, the next one is a, a cutie but very strong one. It's муравей. Ant. Муравей ползает по столу. The ant is crawling around the table, following the same path to get to your sugar or some kind of sweets. It, it's crazy. They're, it can be everywhere. So please hide your sweets. Don't put it anywhere in summer. Next one is pauk. Many people are scared of pauk, spider. Usually it's, it's not dangerous. It's just there jumping and crawling around things. So please don't kill pauk, okay? Don't kill spiders. Пожалуйста, не убивайте пауков. Please don't kill spiders. Just throw it away. Oh my god, if you see this one, don't throw it away. Just go for it. Таракан. Cockroach. Таракан. Sounds very funny. Like, like you're playing some musical instrument. Таракан, 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 таракан. Cockroach. I hate cockroaches. Ненавижу тараканов. Well, seems like we're done with bugs and insects over now so we're moving to the next topic next time so see you in the next lesson bye from the beginning hello everyone my name is katya or you can call me katusha yeah i prefer the second one today we're gonna talk about some kind of topic i have no idea which one and it's gonna be life actions life in russian is жизнь. action is действие so let's have a look. The first action is gonna be <gasps> Wow, it's Rajdonni to be born. We're all being born to this world and welcome, congratulations, you did well. I'm happy you're here with me and I'm here with you. So Yara Dilas Vienvaria. I was born in January. Когда ты родился? When were you born? Ta da! Обручиться. Hmm. Engage. Oh my god, what an action! <laughs> Are you guys engaged? Uh, вы обручены? Yeah. I am engaged with my boyfriend. Я обручена с моим парнем. I'm so excited! Well, I guess it's going well for you. So, next word is... Next step. It's жениться. Mary, get married. Are you married? Вы женаты? You, in Russian, can be some kind of polite you or just like friendly you, right? You polite can be вы and you friendly is ты. Next one. We're getting further in our life and maybe you can guess it's going to be выйти на пенсию. Retirement. One day I will retire. Когда-нибудь я выйду на пенсию. Maybe. Oh my god. <laughs> it's умереть. To die. <laughs> I don't want to die. 
Я не хочу умирать. Maybe your plant died or something. So you can say, мое растение умерло. My plant died. Maybe it was too hard or too cold. Never know. Too much information. The end! <laughs> okay, guys. I hope I see you next time with our next uh, Russian weekly word lesson. And uh, see you later. Bye. Hi there. Uh, welcome to Russian weekly words. Learn whatever you can with me, Katya. Or let's say Katusha. Call me Katusha, okay? Are you in a good mood for some Russian? I can hear yes. Today's topic is clothing actions. <laughs> let's put on clothes together. So, number one is Nadivat. Put on. I put on my hat. Ya nadela kepku. Vezat. To knit. Do you do knitting nowadays? My grandmother, of course, she taught me how to knit. Моя бабушка научила меня вязать. My grandmother taught me how to knit. Let's try knitting some socks next time. Hmm. Снимать. Take off. Take off your whatever sweater. Take it off. Снимай. Take off your shoes. Снимай свою обувь. Next word is шить. Шить. It's not e. But it's more like deeper inside your throat, like ooh, shit. <laughs> to sew. I'd like to sew a new dress for you. Я бы хотела пошить для тебя новое платье. Примерять. To try it on. Well, every time you go shopping, which is uh, most of the time for girls, you can use this word, right? Uh, let's go try it on. Пошли померяем. Or пошли примерем. Not a very big difference, and so you can use both. Pamerit or primerit. So next word is uh, the end of shopping and clothes actions. Well, if you have any other words you would like to know, please tell me, write to me, and I will translate it for you or make up some sentences. So um, hope to see you next time in the next Russian weekly words. See ya! Hello everyone! Привет! And welcome to Russian Weekly Words. And my name is Katusha. We're gonna start today with a new topic, which is going to be sliding and <laughs> in your wallet. Что у тебя в кошельке? What's in your wallet? If you're a businessman or businesswoman, you probably have a визитная карточка. Business card. Визитная карточка. It's strange, it kind of sounds like visiting, right? Like, hmm, if you want to visit me, <laughs> you have to use визитная карточка, I guess. Give me a business card. Дайте мне свою визитную карточку. Oh my god, it sounds so long. Next word is very useful. I'm sure most of you have it in your wallet. So it's a кредитная карточка. It's a credit card, of course. I'm gonna go shopping and use my credit card. Сегодня я пойду по магазинам и использую кредитную карточку. Where is my credit card? Где моя кредитка? Next word is uh, coupon, which is coupon, right? So um, I don't have many in my wallet. To be honest, I have none. <laughs> but if you want to have like some kind of discount in the restaurant and cafe, you can always use coupon. Can I use my coupon? Можно я использую купон? Next word is наличные деньги. And in English it's just cash. Наличные деньги. Деньги is money. But uh, to be honest, we usually say наличка to make it shorter. Наличка. Uh, я плачу наличкой. I pay cash. We can just put it in the pocket. Next one is читательский билет. How many of you in your wallet have a library card? I'm sorry, I'm laughing. Maybe you do have it. Of course, if you go to the library, you need a читательский билет to read. Читать is read. Сегодня я иду в библиотеку, и мне нужен читательский билет. Tomorrow I'll go. I'm going to library, so I need my um, library card. Also, I just find out that this is the end of our word session for today, but 
I'm sure some of you have also one thing in your wallet that could be useful. Okay, so it was nice talking to you and I hope to see you in our next Russian Weekly Word session with me. Пока -пока. Bye! Okay guys, hello everyone and let's start next session of Russian Weekly Words and me, Katusha. Ta-da! Where is my magic screen? And... It's a solar system. Солнечная система. Ага. First word is... Земля. It's our globe, right? This earth. It's where we live, walk on, run, and uh, all the kind of things we do on earth. Земля. Мы живем на земле. We live on earth. Wow, it's kind of... I feel so tiny right now when we talk about this topic, like an ant, you know, tiny, tiny ant. Maybe to the moon. Luna. It's a nice word, no, in Russian, like Luna, very like um, Luna, so romantic. Я вижу луну. I can see the moon. <laughs> Through the clouds. <laughs> Maybe I'm becoming a poet. Next word, Mars. Mars, very firefighting kind of feeling brings to the conversation. I want to watch a movie about Mars. Я хочу посмотреть фильм про Марс. I wonder if there is a life on Mars. Интересно, есть ли жизнь на Марсе? Сатурн. Saturn. Saturn. Saturn is the sixth planet that's far from the sun. Сатурн – шестая планета вдалеке от Солнца. I wonder if you can repeat the sentence after me in Russian. <laughs> Again. Saturn, шестая планета вдалеке от Солнца. And it's not the sun, it's комета. Comet? Комета. Comet. Oh, I can see the comet flying. Я вижу, комета летит. Yeah, sometimes we can see like on the sky, right? That it's something moving like... Space. Did you did you watch this movie with uh, recently? Gravity. Yeah. Did you watch the Gravity? Wow. That that was amazing. Oh my god. Like I felt so tense all the movie. You know. Oh my god. Is that it? So it was nice talking to you, and I hope I see you next time with the Russian Weekly Words and me, Katisha. Talk to you later. Пока пока. And I'm stuck. Yes. Hi everyone, how are you? I hope you're well and welcome to Russian Weekly Words with me, Katisha. Let's have a look what kind of topic we're going to be talking about. So every time is a different one, so it's very exciting for me and for you, I hope. My magic movement and the topic will be... Medicine. Лекарства. Лекарства. First one is... Aspirin. 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 In Russian is aspirin. And English just aspirin. Когда у меня болит голова, я пью аспирин. When I have a headache, I have aspirin. And the next word is вакцина. Uh, vaccine. We might have it at um, like at a hospital or somewhere. And it was cool because we would just keep the lesson and just go to like a nurse and get the some vaccine. Let's keep studying. It was exciting. Nice memories, Katusha. <laughs> so, vaccine. I'd like my baby to get a vaccine. Я бы хотел, чтобы моему ребенку сделали вакцину. Next word is лекарство. Basically, is the topic of our conversation with medicine. Пожалуйста, дайте мне лекарство. Я плохо себя чувствую. Please, give me medicine. I feel bad. I feel sick. Give me medicine. Дайте мне лекарство. Yeah, sometimes it's kind of feel bad when you suddenly have a headache or some kind of fever. You go to hospital and you get рецепт. Prescription. In Russia there is this thing, you know, when people think that they know what they need. Like sometimes you don't really need to go to hospital for just cold medicine. And so because like all the grandmas, they, they have their own prescription. <laughs> like you have to do this or that. And they, they basically think that going to a hospital is useless unless, uh, unless it's a really, really big problem or sickness. So I didn't go to hospital many times. And I'm still alive. Я не могу купить лекарства без рецепта. 
I cannot get this medicine without prescription. Okay, next word is syrup at kashlya. Cough syrup. Coughing, right? Coughing syrup. The syrup is that is coughing. <laughs> so the syrup from coughing, we would say. Syrup от кашля. In winter, I always take cough syrup with me. Зимой я всегда беру с собой сироп от кашля. Сироп от кашля is a good thing to carry with you. And this is the end. It's good to know about medicine, about лекарства, and uh, some diseases we talked about before. But, you know, I hope you're getting well. You are well and you will be well. And we will see you next time with Russian Weekly Words again. So, see you next time. Пока-пока. Hello, you! Привет! And welcome to Russian Weekly Words with me, Katyusha. And let's learn some Russian words. And our topic is hygiene actions. Wow! So, the first word is бриться. Shave. Бриться. Well, the guys do it every day, right? I mean, almost every day. Я не люблю бриться. I don't like shaving. Мне не надо бриться. I don't need to shave. Never know. Uh, next word is uh, принимать ванну. Take a bath. To bathe. Yeah, принимать ванну. Принимать means take. Take something and uh, bath is ванна. Yeah, we also mentioned about it in our previous like uh, topic about rooms. So check it out. I like to take a long bath. Я люблю принимать ванну долго. Just take a bath and relax. Прими ванну и отдохни. Сушить. Uh, blow dry. Or dry something. Dry your hair, right? I'd like to dry my hair with a blow dryer. Я хочу высушить волосы феном. Сушить. Anything. You can also dry something else, like your... Dry your socks. Сушить носки. <laughs> or dry your nails. Сушить ногти. Умываться. Умываться. Wash. Wash your face. If in English you can say wash anything, wash dishes, wash uh, your, I don't know, like, bag, shoes, but in Russian umuvatsa means only your face. Wash your own face, umuvatsa. You should wash your face with cold water. Тебе стоит умываться холодной водой. Anyway, the next word is чистить, brush. In Russian, чистить means uh, also clean something. It's not only brush. Мне нужно почистить ковер. I need to clean my carpet, just to get rid of dirt. That's what the meaning of чистит. The end! <laughs> so it was a hygiene actions topic. And so I hope you could remember a few things. I hope it was interesting for you and maybe you can... We can meet again in the other session, whatever the topic is going to be about. Very exciting to see you next time and пока пока. Blow dryer, yeah. Я хочу высушить волосы феном, yeah? Give me a blow dryer. Давай, фен. Oh, hey everyone, nice to see you again. And it's me, Katusha, with Russian Weekly Words. How exciting! Now, let's have a look what kind of um, topic we're gonna have today. A special day for a special topic. And it's gonna be, if I can touch the screen, home tools. Wow! Home tools. Домашние инструменты. Do you have any home tools? У тебя есть домашние инструменты? Maybe you can just knock on your neighbor's door and say, У тебя есть домашние инструменты? <laughs> Give me home tools! Calm down. Uh, the first word is screw. <laughs> Винт. If it's a big one, big screw. It's wind, and if it's a small screw, it's винтик. <laughs> Мне не хватает винтика. I'm missing the screw. <laughs> Next word. Молоток. Hammer. Молоток. Okay, don't mix it with milk, because it's a bit similar. It sounds like молоко. But we're talking about the hammer. Молоток. Where did I put my hammer? Куда я положила молоток? If it's a girl or Куда я положил молоток? If it's a boy. Okay? Пила. 
So, Pila. You know the horror movie, right? So, in Russian it's called Pila. Just in case you want to watch it in Russian too. Okay? Вчера я смотрела фильм Пила. Yesterday I saw a movie So. Yeah, I saw So. <laughs> Next word is уровень. Level. Уровень. Well, if you're an interior designer or any constructor company employer, you need to know, I mean, you're basically, you're obviously know that you need a level, right? I need level to put my picture frame. Ding. Мне нужен уровень повесить фотокартину. Because, you know, you want it to be straight, right? So, it's better to have level on you. Используйте уровень. Use level. Next word is ящик с инструментами toolbox toolbox but in russian it's a bit opposite it's a box with tools so the box is ящик with с инструментами tools okay good it's a bit long but i'm sure you can say it right please help me carry toolbox помоги мне пожалуйста понести ящик с инструментами Помоги мне поднести ящик с инструментами. Wow, that was quick. <laughs> can you do that? Okay, now we're done with tools. I hope you can move in with somebody or by yourself safely now. Uh, you can name these very important tools in Russian. <laughs> but it's just good to know, you know. So I see you some other time and пока пока. Hello everyone, and it's me, Katusha. Welcome to Russian Weekly Words. And uh, let's have a look what kind of words we're gonna learn today, or at least try to remember. B -b 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 Birds. Птицы. Or if you want to say it in a cute way, птички. птички. On a special request, I'm gonna try and make a sound of every bird that we're gonna talk about today. The first bird is... <gasps> Петух, rooster, кукареку. Петух кукарекает на заборе. The rooster is going cockadoodle do on the fence. The rooster is going cockadoodle dra. Cockle, cock. The rooster is going cockadoodle ru. Nailed it. Ворон, if it's a boy. Ворона, it's a girl. Crow, car, car, car. Usually we don't say. Ворон. We usually say ворона. And we have many fairy tales about ворона. Берегись ворон. Be careful of crows. Утка. Duck. They definitely get killed a lot. Пошли на охоту на уток. Let's go hunting ducks. But how do I make the sound for a duck? Кря-кря-кря. та -кря. Курица. Chicken. Я люблю жареную курицу. I like roasted chicken. Maybe a vegetarian, sorry for touching this topic. Павлин, peacock. How does a peacock make sound? Павлин прохаживается по зоопарку. A peacock is walking down the zoo. Yes, that was our bird's version. Hope you enjoyed our session. See you next time. Пока -пока. Hi. Hi there. Hello. Hello, anyone? Welcome to Russian Weekly Words with me, Katusha. And today's topic is going to be studying a language. Существительное. Noun. In Russian, существовать means to exist. So, noun in Russian is существительное. Существительное бывают единственное и множественное числа. Nouns can be singular and plural. Урок. Lesson. Я прогулял урок. I skipped my lesson. Lesson can also be something you learn from your life, right? From the experience. Not only at school, so it, it's gonna be the same. Урок. Изучать. Study. Изучать язык. To study some language. Учить. Learn. Учить is a tricky word because you can also use it for somebody who teaches you, like your teachers. They can teach you. Мой учитель. Учит меня математики. My teacher teaches me math. Yeah, in Russian it's gonna be учить somebody. Изучать, it's mostly for yourself. Язык, as I previously said, it's a language. В мире существует много языков. There are many languages in the world. Okay, and 
it's over no more school stuff <laughs> no more learning but um learning is also good and i hope we learn some other new and useful words with you next time пока пока привет welcome to russian weekly words with me katusha today's topic is crossing borders crossing borders now if you want to escape to russia i guess you should know a few words concerning this topic гражданство Nationality. Какое у тебя гражданство? What's your nationality? Угадай, какое у меня гражданство. Guess my nationality. Таможня. Customs. На таможне нужно показать свои чемоданы. At the customs, you need to show your luggage. If you're Japanese, British, or American, or any other, like, lucky nationality, you might not need visa to a lot of countries in the world. But if you're Russian, or some other ex-Soviet Union countries, you have to have visa almost everywhere. Мне нужна виза в Америку. I need visa to go to US. That's obvious. Водительские права. Guess you're driving. You will need driving license. Покажите свои водительские права. Show me your driving license. Пропуск. Entry card. Чтобы сюда зайти, вам нужен пропуск. To enter this place, you need entry card. It's a very obvious sentence, <laughs> and because it's entry card, you need to enter, right? I mean, <laughs> yeah. Propusk comes from propuskat, to let somebody through, or let something through. Propustite меня! Let me through! Like, you're like, you're in a full bus, or a tram, or a trolley bus, and you want to get out, like, it's foolish people, you're like, Propustite меня! Let me out! Well, конец! means the end and i hope we meet you some other time with the next lesson and uh, see you later пока -пока. hey hi let me in let's learn some russian Привет всем. hello everyone and welcome to russian weekly words with me katisha today we're gonna enjoy some other words that i have no idea about as i keep saying every time <laughs> it's gonna be Слова направления. Direction words. If you're lost, it's gonna be so helpful. Beg somebody to show you which way to go. Could be not always nice answer to hear in Russia, but we can always try. Налево. I mean, for you it's probably this direction, but... On the left. On the left, on the left. Чтобы дойти до аптеки, нужно повернуть налево. To get to the drugstore, you need to turn left. А. One more important thing you should know. If somebody is cheating, you can say he, he or she is going on the left. Направо. Or for you it's opposite. Направо. Uh, right. Right. It's more like on the right. If you just want to say left and right, лево и право. Чтобы дойти до супермаркета, поверните направо. To find a supermarket, turn on the right. Восток. East. Yeah, if you sometimes ask what direction you should go and people tell you to go on the east, I'm not sure it's very helpful, right? But I guess if you read stars, you can also figure out. Всегда мечтал поехать на восток. I always dreamt to go to the east. Запад. Uh, opposite from east, of course. <laughs> west. Cowboys live on the Cowboys live on the west. Yoo-hoo! The third direction is yug south испания находится на юге spain is in the south this is the end i hope we could remember a few things i hope you don't get lost and stay with me and follow us on the russian weekly words пока -пока. hi there welcome to russian weekly words and you're with me katusha I'm gonna teach you some Russian words, but I don't know which one yet, so we can check it out together. Home electronics. Электроприборы. And the first word is духовка. Oven. Я не могу готовить без духовки. We cannot cook without oven. Wow, it sounds long in Russian. Посудомоечная машина. Dishwasher. Dish in Russian is Посуда. Washer is моечная. But because washer is a noun, we have to make noun in Russia too, so we use 
Mashina, which means like machine, makes like three words in two. Pasuda, moichnaya, mashina, something that washes the dishes. Maya mama, michtaet, a pasuda moichnaya mashina. My mom is dreaming about having a dishwasher. We are not used to dishwashers, so it's actually true. My mom is dreaming about it right now. Pili sauce, vacuum cleaner. In Russian, literally, it's sucking the dust. Я использую пылесос три раза в неделю. I use uh, vacuum cleaners three times a week. Maybe I'm exaggerating a little bit. Холодильник. Refrigerator. Actually, cold in Russian is холод. Пожалуйста, положи яйца в холодильник. Please put eggs into the refrigerator. Стиральная машина, washing machine. So it's the um, same principle as with a dishwasher. Uh, we have an adjective, стиральная, which means washing, and машина, machine. Я купила стиральную машину пять лет назад. I got my washing machine five years ago. Oh, it says the end. Something happened to my iPad. Hello, where's the other electronics? Well, I guess we will talk about something else next time. See you later. Пока -пока. Привет, привет. Welcome to Russian Weekly Words with me, Katusha. Now, let's have a look what kind of words and topic we're going to be talking about today. Tourism. Tourism. I'd say, right? My friend works in tourism industry. Моя подруга работает в туризме. Билет. Ticket. I guess we talk about air tickets or bus tickets. I need to book tickets on the airplane. Or you can say I need to book airplane tickets. Мне нужно забронировать билеты на самолет. Гид. Guide. I would like to have a guide when in Thailand. Я бы хотела нанять гида в Таиланде. Путеводитель. Guidebook. Put in Russian is the way where you need to go. So it's not like a guide, but it's more like something that's showing you the direction. Vaditel is something that takes you somewhere, follow you all along the way. It's more like a guide, probably. I need to get a guidebook uh, before I go for summer vacation. Мне нужно купить путеводитель до того, как я уйду в отпуск. Путешествовать. Travel. I would love to travel around the world. Я бы хотела попутешествовать <coughs> вокруг мира. That's a great idea. I would love to have a world round tour. And the end. No. Okay, I'm going to meet you some other time with my funny and not funny Russian examples and hope it helps to remember a few of them. Now, talk to you later. Bye-bye. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Russian Weekly Words with me and my Russian accent, Katusha. Today we're going to be talking about... It's mystery to me, so we have to check out together. Geography. Geografia. Archipelag. Archipelago. How come you don't know Russian? You could help me make sentence. Now I'm stuck. Seriously. Japonia et archipelag. Japan is an archipelago. How did I say that word? Gara, mountain. We go hiking to the mountains every month. Мы ходим в горы каждый месяц. Лес, forest. Let's have a barbecue in the forest. Пошли на шашлыки в лес. Пляж, beach. Pack your swimwear, let's go to the beach. Пакуй купальник, поехали на пляж. Пустыня, desert. Desert. Yes, sorry. It's not dessert, not, not sweet cake stock. I would love to have some dessert in the dessert. No, I would love to have some dessert in the desert. Я бы хотела съесть сладенького в пустыне. Wow, I can imagine this already. We're done for today, but I hope I see you next time with me, Katusha, and Russian Weekly Words. Пока-пока! Привет! Как дела? Hello, how are you? Welcome to Russian Weekly Words with me, Katusha. Are you ready? Let's have a look what kind of topic we have today. Health concerns. 
Mm, do you have any health concerns? Bol. Pain. It's soft L in the end. Bol. In English, it's kind of pain. I feel the pain. In Russian, pain is kind of very soft. Bol. Very kind of romantic, no? <laughs> do you feel any pain? Вы чувствуете боль где-нибудь? Ожог. Burn. Don't forget to say in the end G. G. Ожог. He had some burns when he did fireworks. У него было несколько ожогов после салюта. У него было несколько ожогов после петард. Fireworks can be like big or small one as well. Тошнота. Nausea. I feel sick, right? Sometimes in the airplane I have nausea. Иногда в самолете я чувствую тошноту. Зуд. Itch. Зуд. Зуд. After mosquito bite, I have itch. После укуса комара у меня зуд. Усталость. Fatigue. I'm sorry, I work too much and I have fatigue. Can I go home? Вы знаете, я так много работала, и у меня такая усталость. Можно я пойду домой? The end. I hope you don't have any other concerns, health concerns. I hope you're well. Uh, and in a good mood and so I'll see you some other time with my Russian words and me Katisha. Пока -пока. Hello there, welcome to Russian weekly words with me Katisha. Let's have a look what kind of topic we're going to be talking about today. Study subjects. Предметы обучения. Биология. Biology. Did you like studying biology at school? Тебе нравилось изучать биологию в школе? Информатика. Computer science. My brother is studying computer science. Мой брат изучает информатику. Искусство. Art. I would love to have some more lessons of art. Я бы хотела немного больше уроков искусства. History. История. I could never remember any dates learning history. Я никогда не могла запомнить даты когда изучала историю. Well, that is a sad truth. Физика. Physics. Did you enjoy physics lesson? Тебе понравился урок физики? I wonder if anyone ever asks this kind of question. Конец. The end. That was quick. I'm sorry, I wanted to stay longer with you, but have to move to another session with Russian weekly words. So, talk to you later. Пока-пока. Привет! Hello and welcome to Russian Weekly Words. Today we're going to be talking about the topic... I don't know which one, so... You have to check it out with me. At the aquarium. В аквариуме. Have you actually been inside the aquarium? Like the real aquarium tank? I would love to swim in one. You can like feed... Actually, you don't have to... You'd have to go inside the aquarium to feed fishes. Stupid idea. The first word is акула. Shark. Have you ever seen shark? Вы когда-нибудь видели акул? Кальмар. Squid. I can't eat squid. Я не могу есть кальмар. Не могу. Kid. Whale. Once in a lifetime, I would love to see whale on my own, with my own eyes. Раз в жизни... Я бы хотела увидеть кита своими собственными глазами. That was a long sentence. Sorry, guys. I make you work and remember all these horrible Russian things. Медуза. Jellyfish. I got a poisonous burn from jellyfish. У меня ядовитый ожог от медузы. Sounds nasty. Осьминог. Octopus. Octopus. Have you watched this cool animation about octopus? Вы смотрели этот классный мультик про осьминога? Конец. Again, it's the end. But, 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 but. I hope I'll see you some other time with me in Russian weekly words. Talk to you later. Пока-пока. Привет всем. Hi, everyone. And welcome to Russian weekly words with me, Katusha, in black. Now, the topic is uh, housework. Housework, what an exciting work, yes! Домашняя работа. Or you can say, работа по дому. 
I have a lot of housework to do. У меня много домашней работы. Мыть. Clean. Don't forget to say deep down in there. U, the sound U. Мыть. We are cleaning the floor. Мы моем пол. Швабра. The mop. We are cleaning the floor with the mop. Мы моем пол шваброй. Шваброй. Подметать. Sweep. Uh, my mom is sweeping the floor. Моя мама подметает пол. Убирать. Put away. Or you can say clean up. Now what we usually hear from our moms, like clean up your room right now. Убери свою комнату сейчас же. Next word is конец. The end. I hope you could uh, repeat after me a few words. Stay with me, Katusha. Пока, пока. Hi everyone. Uh, how is it going? How is life? Welcome to Russian Weekly Words with me, Katusha. Well, today we're gonna find out some random Russian words. Check it out. What what kind of words we're gonna have today? <gasps> I found out the topic. At a hotel. В гостинице. I can make it easier for you and just say в отеле, which will be the same. The word гостиница comes from word гостить to visit somebody. I am staying in a hotel. Я остановилась в гостинице. Ключ. Key. I lost the key from uh, my room. Я потеряла ключ от моей комнаты. Комната. <laughs> Seriously, I had no idea. Room. You can choose any room. Вы можете выбрать любую комнату. Регистрационная стойка. Front desk. So front is регистрационная. Desk is стойка. It's not exactly the desk because it's a bit higher, right? It's like a bar. So in Russian it's стойка because it's higher. You can just call it регистрация because it's a place where you register. I need to ask a few questions at the front desk. Мне нужно задать несколько вопросов на регистрационной стойке. Бронирование or бронь. Reservation or booking. I'm sorry, but we lost your reservation. Извините, но мы потеряли ваше бронирование. Now it happens. And we're done! Well, I hope I can see you some other time with me in Russian words. So, stay. See you later. Пока-пока. Welcome to Russian Weekly Words with me, Katusha. Today we're going to be talking about something I don't know about what. It's a very useful topic, currency exchange. Обмен валют. So, обмен is exchange and currency is валют. Could you tell me where is the currency exchange? Не подскажете, где здесь обмен валют? Английский фунт. British pound. British in Russian is... Anglisky. Fund is pound. This t-shirt is 20 British pounds. Эта футболка стоит 20 английских фунтов. Expensive stuff. Bank. Bank. Well, it's the same word. The letters in Russian, of course, look different from English. I need to go to bank. Мне нужно сходить в банк. Американский доллар. US dollar. US is американский, and dollar is dollar. I have only US dollars. У меня только американские доллары. Обменный курс. Exchange rate. What's the exchange rate today? Какой сегодня обменный курс? We're done with currencies. Hope it will be helpful if you travel in one of the Russian-speaking countries and now you know how to change your money. Good luck, don't lose your money and don't lose your wallet. Bye-bye. Привет! How are you? Welcome to Russian Weekly Words with me, Katusha. Are you ready to find out about some random Russian words? I hope you are, so stay with me and my tiny iPad. Are you ready for the topic? And the topic will be Buildings. Дома. Buildings. Дома. Дома. There are many high buildings. Or there are many tall buildings. Um, там много высоких домов. Let's check out the first word. And the first word is дом. 
a house or building, dom. If you say moi dom, it might mean my home, my house, my, my building. So it's all like three in one, dom. Okay, so moi dom means, can mean my house, my home, my building. So it's easy to remember. Whichever you mean in Russian will be мой дом. Приходите ко мне домой. Come visit my home. Come visit my house. Come visit my building. Okay. Квартира. Apartment. Квартира. Which floor is your apartment? На каком этаже твоя квартира? На каком этаже твоя квартира? Общежитие. Dormitory. Общежитие. In Russian, it means uh, like public living, coexisting together. So, obshe means common, belongs to everyone. Uh, so, uh, yeah, it's a place where people coexist together. As a student, I lived in the dormitory. Когда я был студентом, я жил в общежитии. Небоскреб. Skyscraper. Небо скреб. It's a building that is scraping the sky. Basically, in, in Russian, it's kind of similar meaning. It's like you're scratching the sky. <laughs> it's that tall that it's like touching the sky or something. So, небо скреб. Небо is sky. We don't have many skyscrapers in our city. У нас немного небоскребов. В нашем городе Немного небоскребов. So in our city we don't have many skyscrapers. В нашем городе мало небоскребов. Башня. Tower. Башня. The tallest tower in the world is in Japan. Самая высокая башня в мире находится в Японии. Actually, sometimes we use this word for somebody's, like calling somebody's head, like Bashnya. Maybe because it's the tallest part, like highest part of your body. So you can call your head Bashnya. It's a kind of slang. And next word is and we're done. Well, thank you for watching me the, for the first time or again. And uh, I'll see you again some, with some other Russian weekly word sessions. See you later. Пока -пока. Wake up, people, wake up! It's a lesson. Welcome to Russian Weekly Words. Today is the day and we're going to learn some Russian words. You might forget five minutes later, but maybe, maybe you will keep it and use it sometimes. You can always pretend that you're Russian and speak some Russian. So just say blah, blah, blah and like play cool. And the topic is family. Семья. The first family person is... Бабушка. Grandmother. Isn't it cute? Sounds so cute. Бабушка. But to make it even cuter, we can call бабушка бабуля. Я собираюсь посетить бабушку следующим летом. I'm going to visit my grandma next summer. Дедушка. Grandfather. So, same as uh, grandma, you can say grandpa, which is дедуля. Мой дедушка заберет меня со школы. My grandfather will pick me up from school. Дочь. Daughter. You can also say дочка. Моя дочка любит сиреневый цвет. My daughter likes purple color. Сын. Son. Don't forget about the ы sound. Сын. Твой сын? Очень хорошо себя ведет. Uh, your son behaves really well. Жена. Wife. Твоя жена часто занимается спортом. Your, your wife does a lot of sports. Wow. Great wife. I hope you can use some of these words and I'll see you some other time. Keep in touch with your family and good luck with Russian. Пока-пока.